The issue of taxpayer-funded tuition for illegal immigrants may be headed to the nation's highest court. The Supreme Court is being petitioned to review the proper use of funds by independent state agencies after it was revealed the California School Board was using millions of dollars for unlawful purposes. One America's Kindle Forward has more from Washington. Nearly $30 million in the state of California is being issued to non-resident or illegal alien students. The watchdog group Judicial Watch is filing a petition with the Supreme Court to stop what they call an illegal use of taxpayer dollars. And the Board of Regents isn't the state legislature. They can't authorize in-state illegal alien uh, benefits like this in state tuition. According to Judicial Watch, roughly $27 million in California taxpayer money is funding tuitions for illegal alien students. The group is representing a California resident who objects to the illegal use of public money. The entity running the schools, the Board of Regents, it doesn't have the authority under federal law to grant in-state tuition benefits to illegal aliens. The Supreme Court should take this up and send a signal to these uh, various jurisdictions, cities, or localities uh, trying to uh, run their own immigration policy because they don't like Donald Trump. Judicial Watch President Tom Fitton says states have the right to grant certain in-state tuition benefits to legal aliens, but independent agencies like the Board of Regents does not, and doing so encourages illegal immigration. And this is kind of a statewide sanctuary policy. If you know you're an illegal alien and you get into California, you're going to get in-state tuition benefits from the Board of Regents of the University of California, you know, you're going to be encouraged to stay and, and live there. Now, they say they still have not heard back from the court, but as the process continues, they hope to hear back soon and move forward. In Washington, Kendall Forward, One American News.